All right, here we go. Deck test number two. I've added a couple of uh, Ugins in there to help deal with some of the issues and just lowered the mana supply a little bit because I was at 27. So the deck was at 64 and now it's at 61. So a little bit hopefully smoother play. I took a couple of counter spells to put the Ugins in. So hopefully this will all play out nicely. We'll find out soon. I don't know why my camera's reconnecting, but that's okay. It, it'll get the job done, as it were. So the Mew, uh, Mew uh, Sky Dancer was already there. I just never got them out before. So hopefully this will play okay. Now I do have ways of dealing with the um, with the dread horde. I can unsummon it for a bit, depending on what I get. But we'll see how this plays out. Oh, Death touch guy, yeah, yeah, good for you. Uh, might as well get the fable passage out because I will be able to use it now. Fable passage, of course, is just blue land, but helps you cycle your deck and thin things out a bit, as it were. And in this case. It's definitely going to be her going here, there. Let's just shrink that guy down a bit. Didn't get a lot of counter spells, so I got to hope to get some more mana out enough, hold off stuff. Let's see what he's got. Oh, it's the pump up guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I will exile um, a land. Go ahead. I will deal with that. Still, this isn't a bad card, but for two casting costs, it is not bad. Yeah, yeah, hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, there's my Ugin, which is nice. So, let's get... I usually don't do this, but let's get him out as a blocker. Let's shrink him down a bit. And that leaves me just enough mana to counter something if you have something bigger coming. So yeah, this guy gets a little bit bigger, but I can deal with these guys right now. This guy here, Death Touch, I don't like dealing with him, so I will let him hit Mew Lang again. Now we'll counter that guy. Because that's a bad card. Quelch at his mana supply. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what he intends on doing here. He'll attack with the Enforcer for sure. Well, I'll definitely just lock him on him. Let him hit Mew Lang once. Which is fine. So, in this case, we're going to bring out Ugin. I'm mainly doing this to get the block out for the first turn. Because I can't, I don't want to just waste the uh, dread horde and then get in trouble. I'll bring out a smaller creature to block this turn. So now I can basically go one for one, right? And that's the goal. My ground guy, my air guy, and ah, oh, murderous rider, you suck. Oh well. Oh look at that. He didn't do anything. Cool. So, I have another Mew Maling. Let's uh, shrink him down. So I don't have to worry about him for the turn. Then, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Back yourselves up, boys. All right, guys. So, by the way, my name, my name is uh, MTG Moxman, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I do a lot of stuff on Magic. In this case, just doing some Arena tonight. Having a little bit of fun. Just going to beat a guy up for a minute. Just make him think twice. He's got a slightly bigger guy coming out. Now the Murderous Rider. What does this bad boy do again? It's going to give him lifelink, right? Can't really do anything to stop it with what I got, so I might as well keep the Quelch. Let the creature hit the battlefield. 
Doesn't hurt. Good for you. Let's see what he's got going here. He's attacking with the minus one creature. Good for you, minus one creature. Okay, you? It's a good question, actually, isn't it? This guy's going over there, too. So, you can go there. And you don't have death touch, so I'll block him. So you hit me for minus one. And I get my creature card. Yay! So, let's uh, kill this Mew, my Ling. Which is great. We'll bring another one out. Which is awesome. I don't want his murderous rider giving him life. So no, uh, no life link there. I'm just going to make him really have to work for it, guys. Oh, I didn't realize this guy will gain lifelink. That's not good. Oh. I think he still had a chance because he would have gained six life there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, game number one, blue deck wins on my second play test of the evening. First game of two out of three, I only won one of three. So this one will give it a shot again. Let's see how this one goes. So far, so good. I can't complain. And I'm looking at some Black Friday flyers. Okay, so I got mainly counter spells here, but it is four of them. Oh, but of course my opponent goes first, because that's just what happens. Blue against blue, this will be interesting. Hurry up. Scry your cards, buddy. Scry your cards. Hmm. It's actually a very good card, I think, guys. It's one casting cost. It's a one, two. It scries two, and it flips two into their graveyard. It's a powerhouse on Comet. Remember that card. It is a powerhouse. I don't use it because it doesn't fly, but I do admit it's a good card. Very, very cool. Hmm. Go ahead and hit me for one. Ow. That's funny. I'm a 19. I knew that was coming for some reason. He doesn't realize what he's facing yet, so he'll probably try casting a spell. I would. Or not. Maybe he has nothing to cast. But I bet you he does. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Fall for the trap. I have a quench with your name on it. See how he's deciding, guys? He's got cards he wants to play, but he doesn't know what I have. And since I haven't played anything yet, he is very leery about what I'm going to do. Which I think is hilarious. Ow. I know he's still waiting. It's probably, it's probably just killing him.
because he has a counterspell deck. I have a counterspell deck, and we're both waiting to see who blinks first. So funny. Ow! Do I want to counter that? What do you think, guys? Do you have something? Does he have something bigger on the way, as it were? I bet you he does. So how about instead we just type some mana, and he can decide if it's worth it. Because I honestly don't care. He's deciding, he's deciding, he's deciding. You can see my little my little wrist as he decides. Wow. He decided it was not worth it. Ooh, now I have something I would like to cast. He will try to counter it. I'll counter your counter of your counter. You, my Ling, will come out. And I'll make your guy small. But now I can't stop whatever he's going to do. So he will now be able to do something on his turn, which I can't stop. But hopefully my own summons will keep it away for a bit. Let's see what he's got rolling. Because I can't stop him this turn. Chances are he's got a card flipping deck. And he's hoping he can flip all my cards out. But I'm, I'm assuming, because um, you know, I'm guessing of course, but educate guess. He's, everything he had so far flips my deck out. So I'm assuming somewhere along there he's going to have to run out. And I do keep Midnight Clock in here, so I do get to reshuffle my deck. He's deciding now if he's going to find a way to deal with Mew Mai Ling, or if he's going to uh, cast out something that deals with me directly. He, he's probably deciding where the damage is going to be. Ah, uh, Ventress Gargoyle is fine. I don't know. He's being pretty slow. What do you guys think? You're supposed to know your deck and know what you're going to do. I didn't realize I was such a technical player, but apparently I got this world rock in here. Okay. Sure. A witching well. Good for you. So he's down to what? Um, one card? One card in hand? I get to get six. Ooh, my Ling comes out again. Now, if I unsummon something, I'll be able to use it now. Ventress Gargoyle says, right now, if I have how many cards more? So let's, let's unsummon that bad boy. Bye-bye, Gargoyle. Go back to his hand and play. 
Now, that Witching Well, sacrifice four and draw two cards. I can't do anything about that. So, what I'll try to do is just tie up his mana. If he lays a land, I'll use, when he tries to summon the Vantures, I just try to quelch it, tie up some land, so I can get my Beastie out. Let's see what he's got going. He's being a, he's being a technical player. I'm sitting there going, hurry up, you're slow. At least slow for my way of thinking. Maybe a very valid and capable player. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to try to unsummon my beastie. I'll say, yep, I can't stop you. Can't stop him. Ow. I go back again. Thought collapse. Counter target spell. I think, guys, that I will just quelch that. Like that. See, here comes that Vantress Gargoyle again. That is a very bad boy. Ow. Oh wow, he countered my spell. That's not very nice. Now there's nothing I can do to save her, I don't think, this turn. She's gonna die. Or he'll do a combo. So what I will do is try to slow down one of his guys. Let's see how it goes. Oh well, there goes me miling. Ow, ow. Trick for 
Another NAS out of the clock. Need a clock. Not casting the clock yet. I do need one for next turn, but I'm not casting it because I can still counter something if he chooses to draw the cards with the Witching Well. I can block one. He's, he's still going to kill either... No, he can't kill Jace this turn, which is good if I block one. So, Thank God that thing doesn't have Trample, right? Oh my goodness, you are such a tedious player, buddy. Think it through, man. I know I get quiet once in a while when I'm playing, but you are killing me. Yay, he drew the cards. Wow, miracle. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're going to draw one card a turn. <laughs> I'll say oops. Because that was funny. He's looking through his cards to put one on top. One on top, and that's where it stops. Wow, guys, talk about a blue technical game, huh? What do you put, Thought Collapse? Yeah. Looks like Raul Zerk's getting brain drift out. So the thing is, look at this. Do I, do I stop one, right? But nah, I gotta keep Jace alive. That's okay. What can I do? What can I do? I've almost got all the land out of my deck. That's kind of funny. Depends on what he gets going. I got enough for one more counter. But he's going to kill Jace this turn, which is really going to start putting me in a disadvantage. Nothing I can do. Bye-bye, Jace. Poor Jace. So I might lose this one just because I didn't get any creatures, guys. We'll see. I got 11 life. He's going to do two turns. I'm dead. So it's opponent's turn. The funny thing is he doesn't need to do anything. He can just play this out. That card in his hand that he keeps thinking about doesn't matter. He can scry two to get a good, good search on his lands, or he can play that card. Scry the two, get the card you need in hand for the next turn, Hit me again for another eight, and the game's over. Come on, man. Lock this up. That's what I would do. Wow. He tried anyway. It's kind of funny, actually. Surprising. Now, if I don't draw a creature... I'm going to have to start pumping the counters and see if I can get there. Oh, that's not good. Really decide to scry at the exact moment I'm about to do my thing. It's so tedious. Come on, buddy, hurry up. People want to see me die. Five counters. No way I'm going to get it. Why did he not attack? Did he make an oopsie? What happened there? I think he skipped his attack phase, guys. 
I think he made an oopsie. Into the story. No. He definitely made an oopsie. That's funny. Okay. So let's bring out the uh, sprite. There, I can't do anything now. I just sit here. Let's see what he does. He's got a card. He's thinking about what to do with his card. I'm telling him to discard the card for no reason. He gets to flip four of my cards. He just flipped three land and a hypnotic little specter guy like I care. I'm going to block so this creature just doesn't bother me again. I understand, but I was going to die either way. Block this turn, die next turn, block that thing, it never bothers me again. That's 10. New hand of seven cards. Come on, seven cards. All right, so. I got to land. I use four, I can't use that. I, oh, I didn't get Brazen Borrower. Okay, hold on, hold on. I didn't get everything I need to make this happen, guys. So I have to just try to survive a turn, so. Little Hypnotic guy. I can try to counter so it costs three or less, actually. If I block one, I go to four. But if I block two, I can kill that gargoyle. So let's try to kill the gargoyle. Let's see if we can breathe. I'm taking a risk because I'm tapping out my mana. But what else have I got to do? He's gonna, if he casts that again, he flips four. It's not the end of the world. I don't care about one damage. Go ahead. Deal one damage to me. Okay. Guys, I think I might actually have a chance of living. I, I have hope all of a sudden. You ready? Let's see what we can do here. Wish granted. What is my wish, you ask? Come on, give him my wish. Look at this. He doesn't want to give me my wish, guys. He's letting me get ripped off from my wish. When I thought I was about to die, I thought the game was over. He hesitates, and now he's not letting me have my wish. Hey, use up your timer. I don't care. Use it up. All right, he's letting me have it. I think my best bet is either stolen by the Fae... Or mass manipulation. Four. Okay, hold on. I might as well try to take them, right? And hope he doesn't draw anything. He will be able to use his um, thing, but I gotta try. What a blue technical game, guys. Come on. You can't stop me. Oh my goodness, he gives up! The game is mine! And that is a blue technical match, and I arrive at 
tier platinum tour or whatever for like the 50th time anyway guys thanks a lot for tuning in hope you enjoyed the uh, game the deck the battle um awesome game i can't believe he gave it up very technical game but it was good thanks again guys